How do you set up 301 redirects in Shopify? Well, in this quick Shopify tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Because Shopify have now updated their platform to include this feature as standard. You no longer need an app for this, which is absolutely awesome. But why do you want to sell 301 redirects anyway? Well, 301 redirects are great for pages that you're going to be deleting because if you just delete the page, Shopify will present a 404 not found page to your customers, which isn't what you want them to see. So let's see how to set up 301 redirects. So as I said, this is now a core feature of Shopify being able to create your own redirects. Now, if you're just changing the URL of a page, so you're going in editing the URL, you don't need to set up a manual redirect because Shopify automatically does it for you. This is only going to be for pages that you're going to be deleting. And I'd recommend setting up the redirect before you actually go in and delete the page because you're going to need access to the URL and it's easier to do when the page is still live. So let's see how we create a new redirect. So we go into online store, we go down to navigation and you'll see there's a button in the top right hand corner called view URL redirects and it will show you all the existing redirects that are currently set up on your store. But if you want to create your own one, you click on create URL redirects in the top right hand corner and it brings up this page. Now say I've sold out of this Seiko automatic watch. What I'm going to have to do is select the URL, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into this box here. This is why I think it's better to set the redirects up before you actually delete the page because it makes it easier to get access to the URLs. Then we're going to choose the page to redirect from and we're going to do it back to the collections page. So we're going to copy this page and we're going to paste it into this box here. Now for this URL, it means it's an internal redirect. We can actually delete the domain name part. We don't need that. If it's an external URL you're going to be redirecting to, then yes, you need to leave the whole thing in there. You don't have to worry about the redirect from because Shopify will automatically trim that part down. So once we've got the from and the to, simply click on save redirect and it's created that redirect for your store. Now, if you want to delete the redirect, we can just go back into the list. And if you want to edit it or delete it, just simply click on the redirect from, and then you can go in, change the redirect from or the redirect to, or if you just want to delete it, simply click on delete and it will delete that URL. Now, in terms of the front end of your store, it will take a few minutes for Shopify to register this new change, update the CDN and things like that. So it's not an instantaneous change, but after five to 10 minutes, you should notice that that page is no longer accessible. And once you've set up the redirect, you can go in and delete that page or set it to draft if you want to. I would do that before just going straight deleting it, just in case there's any issues with the URL, things like that. Set it to draft and then you're going to be able to set up all your redirects. So that's how quick and easy it is to set up a 301 redirect in Shopify. Super simple. The only thing Shopify doesn't do is scan your sites for broken links or broken pages, things like that. You're going to need to use an external tool in order to be able to do this. But once you've been able to find out where your broken pages are, where your broken links are, you can then go in and set up all your redirects yourself using this quick and simple tool. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, a like would be absolutely awesome. Saying that, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.